10-year-old Wald Beanie was the fastest 65cc racer in the nation. But that was then, and this is now. It's been four years since our last shoot. Wall is now 14 years old and he's already taller than me. He's one of the fastest and most stylish riders of his generation. And after winning eight individual motos at the 2021 British Motocross Championship, it's safe to say that he's a star of the future. He's moving up onto a 125 next year. So we've come to the track today for one last ride on the 85. Let's it rip, Wall. <laughs> Oh, 
So we're down at the track today with Wal Beanie Jr. Do we still use the Junior? Yeah. Yeah, Wal Beanie Jr. As you can see, he's been ripping today. Uh, Wal, you was telling me earlier that you've had a pretty good season. What was it eight individual moto wins? Yeah. How many overall wins did you get this year? Um, overall, I think it was about four overalls and then eight. At, at the British Championship, yeah. just the British Championship. And uh, so finish out the championship, eight moto wins. Where do you finish overall in the championship? I uh, got fourth um, in the championship, 30-something points behind um, behind Tyler Hooley. Yeah, you, it's worth mentioning, isn't it? Yeah. Your your championship this year was stacked, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, right. there was like, how many race winners? There was you, me, Tyler. Ben Musto, Tyler Hooley, Finley Evans, Billy Askew. It was a really good, um, really good group this year. There's a lot of competition and stuff, but yeah, I really enjoyed the racing, and yeah, hopefully for next year it'll be just the same. Yeah. So talking about next year. What are the plans? I'm calling this video, well I said in the intro, that this is like your last ride on the, the big wheel. I don't know if it actually is, if you've got a few more days on it still, but next year, heading to the 125, right? Yeah, 125 next year. Uh, hopefully I'll get a ride, but apart from that, I'm really looking forward to um, the 125. I'm tall enough, I just need to get a little bit more strength and I'll be ready for it. So next year the plan would be British Championship 125s? Europeans? Yeah, British Championship, um, hopefully the Europeans, well, I would like to do the Europeans and then maybe a few NKs and Dutch Masters, just, yeah, just see where it goes, just how I, how I ride and, yeah, see what happens. Honestly, we've known you since way back when you first started riding on autos, we've probably got footage of you at the Mini Bike Nationals, like, is this tall, yeah. on an auto, ripping, I remember, it's his tabletop on the back and you was just sending it on an yeah, auto, I think, mean, Jesus Christ, I've never seen anything like this, no. so we've known you since then and we've seen you kind of come into the British Championship, was it in 20... Yeah, yeah, 2016? it was a uh, mini, mini Bike Champs, 2015 Mini Bikes, and I went and raced the Winter Series at Meeple, and then uh, 2016, I went and did the British Championship, got fourth in the championship, and then 2017, got the British title. Like we said, the year that you won the British Championship, we did the video with you. Yeah. And ever since then, you've been one of the most stylish kids on the bike. You, you seem to, even today, we've seen it, love laying it over. What is it about that style of riding that makes you want to go there and lay it flat? And who, what's influenced you to do that? Or who's taught you to do that? Because your dad said it, said it was him, but I don't believe it. Um, basically, I just I like uh, doing whips and being a bit loose on the bike, just like how I ride and stuff. And um, ever since I was young, I've seen like a lot of good riders do it. And I used to watch motocross 24/7 all the time when I was younger. I was like watch Prado and Cairo and all that, Roxon just laying it flat. So I started learning it at Kidden Park in 2016, early, yeah, early 2016, and yeah. From never there, start practicing. No, never. From there, I just started. Yeah, keep on whipping, uh, being a bit loose on the bike, and yeah, that's just how it goes now. Kind of in the long term, then. Well, what's your hopes and goals with riding, and where do you want to be in two, three, four, five years' time? Well, uh, hopefully, I just keep on putting hard work and stuff, and get a ride. But if I'm honest, in the next four or five years, it'd be nice to be at the GPs. To be honest, like. 
earning, like, I don't really mind about earning money. I'd like to earn money, but I just love to do it for fun because I do love riding. I, d I didn't like, um, when I had a break, I came back to it and I was like, yeah, this is where I need to be because I missed it a lot. Did you do any other sports in that break? You know, like um, football or I did like? football and scootering, but no. Nah. It's not it, the same, is it? I did it. After that, it was, I was just like, well, no. Nah. Not, that's just not it. Don't compare to motocross. You can, you can tell that you love it because we spent the morning filming here and we said, right, we're going to go for lunch. Like, no, one more lap, another whip. Yeah. Straight away. Like, that, not every rider does that. No. Sometimes you call for a break, they're straight in. No, well, Beanie's straight out there again for another whip. One last whip. Yeah. So I think it's safe to say you can watch out for Wal Beanie in the future. He's the star of the future for sure. And as you've seen today, he definitely knows how to ride a bike. Walt Beanie Jr. is without doubt one of the brightest young talents in motocross right now. To give you an idea of his speed, last year we had an MX2 Pro ride my 125 around this track. His fastest time was a 151.47. Walt's fastest time on his TC85 today around the same circuit, a 147.9. The boy's quick, real quick, and I for one can't wait to see him rip on a 125. Comment below if you want to see that film. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, as always remember to like, share and subscribe if you want to see more two stroke content like this in the future. But anyway, his name's Wall, I'm Max, until next time, we'll see you at the track. If you want to follow Wall's racing career, keep up to date with his antics and maybe lend him some support, check out his Insta at wallb 326 Like I said, if you've enjoyed this video, remember to like, share and subscribe. My name's Max, this is 999 Laser, I'll see you at the track.